Hello, a bit more on title companies. Somebody asked me um, on the internet if they wanted to change the title company if they do a counter offer. So say a, an offer is presented to you, a buyer chooses a title company and they present it to the seller, can the seller do a counter offer? You can include a change of title company in your counter offer. And, but the consumer gets, make sure that you're choosing the title company. Quite often, the realtor chooses the title company. Now, by quite often, I mean all the time. <laughs> okay, maybe not in the world that you live in, but in the world that I live in, the listing agent pushed it on me all the time. I had a buyer, they'd, try, they'd choose a particular title company for their own reason, and the realtor would say, well, you know, I think we should use this one because they've already done so much work on the transaction. And then I'd say, well, you, you know, the buyer kind of gets to choose. And so then they'd throw it back on me and say, oh, well, it's not me saying it. The seller wants it. So then they convince the seller to put it in a counteroffer to pick their title company because their title company did all this work. So it's a very fine line of whether this is a RESPA violation. I have email RESPA on some of these questions, and I feel like the real estate broker in, in the last decade, every single time, especially a particular you know, Century 21 agent has pushed me and my consumers to a particular title company every single time. Now, why would a realtor do this? Well, for one, I like to work with a certain title company because they're easy to work with. I think they're honest. They'll answer your questions and I've never caught them in a lie or a whole bunch of, you know, crazy stuff. So I choose to work with them. But realtors can, you know, especially broker owners, they can have lots of reasons for affiliating with certain title companies. Maybe they get kickback, okay, on the first title insurance. The closing doesn't pay that much, but the title insurance, that's a pretty good chunk of money. And they also sometimes sell you a separate title insurance during the escrow period, which I think is fraudulent and just a big scam too. So there's that. And then uh, oftentimes the lender, the mortgage broker's hands in that pot too. So there can be different payoffs or weird things. Just make sure that you're choosing the right title company. If you have a title company that you want to use, you know, most of the time people don't care, but if you have one you want to use, pick that one. You know, why not go and talk to the title company? You go to the real estate office and you're like trying to fill out all the forms and the realtors, you know, picking the surveyor and they're picking the inspectors and they're picking the title company, but they're pretending, oh no, I'm giving you all these choices. But you know as well as I do that they're actually pushing you towards one. So, you know, why not, you know, put, you could put things like title company to be announced or inspector to be you know, you could choose these things later. A lot of times when you fill out an offer, you have to put a title company, but if it's during the week and they're open, why not go down and visit with them and, and see if you're comfortable with that title company? You know, if, if you have time, um, Google them, you know, see if anybody in the area is talking about them. Go talk to some other people, you know, and ask questions and just make sure that you know that you get to choose the title company. The realtor, it is illegal for the realtor to choose the title company. And I, like I said, it's one particular brokerage, a Century 21 brokerage, every single time they came back. And they made it elusive and, and I was like, whatever, right? I told my client, you know, I basically kind of, I guess pushed my, they pushed their client, I pushed my client. Because I want the deal to close, right? I want to get paid. So the realtors have their own motive and that is a paycheck. Even though I really wanted to protect my consumers, I didn't think the title company necessarily mattered. But now that I've seen some damage done by title companies, I, I do think that it matters and you need to make sure that you're comfortable with them and that you can call them later. And, you know, I don't really like these big chains. I don't like the title companies that don't have an attorney available for you. I, you know, of course, have lots of opinions on title companies, if you can imagine. But just check out the RESPA laws and make sure that you're making your own decisions. Check out realestateindustrywhistleblower.com.